Ram is hi friends today i am discussing a program write a c program to copy the contents from one file to another file so here we have to take one file so that file is called as input file so we have to read the contents of the given file input.c character by character so whatever the character that we are read from input dot input file so that character is write into the output file character by character once the character is write into the output file the file pointer is incremented again once the character is read from the input file again the file pointer is incremented here there are two file pointers are there that is fp1 second one is fp2 fp1 file pointer points to the first character in the input dot txt or c file so fp2 points to the points to the output file okay once the uh, once the characters are copied from input file to output file completely so then we have to close uh, first file and second file so this is the program so hash include stdio.h hash include conio.h void main file pointer fp one comma file pointer fp two cat ch so clr scr so file pointer fp one is equal to f open file name is input dot c mode is read mode next file pointer fp2 is equal to f open output dot c comma write mode so ch is equal to f get c of fp1 while ch not equal to e go f f put c ch comma fp2 again ch is equal to f get c of fp1 close print f file copied successfully so then you have close of fp1 you have close of fp2 get ch main close so here 
hash include stdio.h hash include comio.h so these are the two header files that we are attached to our program because stdio.h means standard input output header file so this header file contains the code of printf and scanf functions next hash include comio.h that is console input output header file so this header file contains two functions that is clr scr function this is a clear screen function and this is get ch function get character function so these two functions are included in the comio.h header file next void main so here file pointer fp1 comma fp2 here fp1 and fp2 are two file pointers that has the data type called file so here we are always written file f i l e in capital letters okay next char ch we have to uh, declare a variable that variable is ch its data type is character clr is here next here we have to open two files one is input file and the second one is output file so input file is pointed by file pointer fp1 output file is pointed by file pointer fp2 so therefore fp1 is equal to f open input dot c comma r mode r mode means that is a read mode so here we have to open the given existing file that is input dot c in read mode because we have to read the contents of the input file and write into the output file using write mode okay so here input file is opened using f open function in read mode okay so this input file is pointed by the file pointer fp1 it points to the beginning of the beginning of the character of the input dot c file next output dot c file is opened using f open in write mode so that is pointed by the file pointer fp2 okay suppose output dot c file is not existing so then we have to then it creates a new file that new file name called output dot c okay next here we have to read the in we have to read the contents of input dot c file character by character using f get c function so f get c function is used for reading reading the character from the given input file so here ch is equal to f get c of fp1 so here fp1 is the file pointer that points to the first character in the input dot c file so it reads the character from the given file character by character whatever the character that is read from the input dot c file that character is assigned to so temporary variable ch okay so whatever the character that is read from the input file first it checks if the given character is eof or not eof is nothing but end of the file okay whatever the character that is read from the input file we have to check if the given character is a end of the file or not if the given character if the given reading character is end of file so okay so then we have to print file copy successfully otherwise so whatever the character that is read from the input dot c file so that character is written into the 
output file that is pointed by the file pointer fp2 using f put c function once the character is write into the output dot c file that is pointed by file pointer fp2 okay then increment the file pointer increment the file pointer okay so then again next character is the read from the input dot c file that is pointed by file pointer fp1 so that character is assigned to variable ch so then we have to check if the reading character is end of file or not if the reading character from the input dot c file is not the end of the file so then that character is written into the output dot c file pointed by fp2 so again the file pointer fp1 is incremented so this statement is used for incrementing the file pointer of fp1 okay so this procedure is repeated until the given reading character is end of file okay once this condition is false this condition when when we can say that this condition is false if the if the given reading character is end of the file so then this condition is failed if this condition is failed so then so it goes to the next statement after the closing brace of while loop so then print and file copied successfully so file is copied successfully whatever the information that is stored in the input dot c file so the entire data character by character is copied into the output dot c file once the writing operation is completed into the output dot c file once the reading operation is completed in the input dot c file so then we have to close these two files using f close function so f close of fp1 and f close of fp2 so then get character so program is closed so then output is file copied successfully file copied successfully so then output dot c contains all the data in input dot c so this is the program for copying the contents from one file to another file.